China's massive J-36 stealth fighter gets major design tweaks with second prototype. Several images showing what appears to be the second prototype of the J-36 heavy fighter have started circulating online. A second J-36 airframe has emerged with significant changes to its inlets, gear, and exhaust, offering clues to its state of development. These alterations, compared to the first J-36 airframe, point to the program very much being iterative in its process. The second airframe seems to retain the core configuration of its predecessor, such as the extensive control surfaces on the aft of its fuselage and its signature three engines, while introducing several notable refinements ranging from intake geometry to landing gear configuration. The photos of the second prototype come just over 10 months after the first, whose images started circulating on December 26, 2024. It is possible that the second prototype is exploring alternative configurations, rather than committing towards a final design. However, some observers on Chinese social media have hinted that this second prototype is more representative of the actual final product and that the first was more likely a concept demonstrator. Visually, the most obvious change of the new airframe is the engine's nozzles. The first prototype had a trough-like nozzle arrangement oriented towards a more stealthy, blended exhaust approach, much like the ones of the Northrop YF-23 that competed in the ATF Advanced Tactical Fighter program. The second prototype instead adopts a F-22-style nozzle, appearing to be more 2D thrust vectoring control TVC oriented. If the final solution is going to be full 2D TVC for all three of the aircraft's engines, it is likely that they are willing to compromise a certain degree of stealthiness for greater maneuverability and control. In addition, the configuration of the side intake seems to have been changed from the carrot-shaped ones on the first prototype. The aircraft instead adopted DSI's diverterless supersonic inlets or even potentially a in-between of a DSI and carrot intakes, like that of Shenyang's next-generation fighter. The exhaust changes have major implications. First off, if indeed this is two-dimensional thrust vectoring, why is it needed for what appears to be a very heavy multi-role tactical jet that is less fighter than regional bomber? It could be that a higher degree of fighter-like performance is desired, pointing to that mission set being prioritized. It could also be to solve certain stability and maneuverability issues during certain phases of flight. Tailless designs are inherently extremely unstable. Thrust vectoring can help with this and maximize potential performance throughout the flight envelope, including at very high altitudes. The new, more heavily serrated design likely has an impact on the jet's low observable qualities, at least from the rear aspect. In order to pull off full two-dimensional thrust vectoring, the aircraft's rear-upper rear fuselage design would also have to be significantly remodeled, with the engine nacelles being pushed back to the trailing edge. The full extent of the changes to the upper end of the J-36 are unclear, but this was not a case of just slapping a thrust vectoring nozzle on there, as the original exhausts were deeply recessed forward of the trailing edge. Again, it looks like Chengdu designers traded some signature control for performance here. Weight is also an issue, as thrust vectoring nozzles add complexity and mass, but for such a larger and heavy jet as it is, the impact is likely minimal. The third major change that is identifiable from the new images is the main landing gear configuration. The two wheels on the new airframe's main gears are arranged in a parallel fashion, whereas it was arranged in a tandem fashion like that of the Su-34 on the first prototype. This modification could potentially allow for more space inside the aircraft's weapon bays. The J-36X's tandem two-wheeled main landing gear which provided a stark indication of how heavy the aircraft was has been totally redesigned, with a twin-wheel side-by-side -side truck arrangement taking its place. While this may necessitate a deeper main gear well for stowage when retracted, it requires less area and smaller main gear doors, among other advantages. This is a relatively dramatic and surprising refinement, to say the least. Another small tweak appears to be a less elaborate air data probe jutting out from the second J-30CXS nose, although this could be an artifact of the high compression of the images. There are certain to be other outward tweaks to the J-30CXS original design that we cannot see in these limited resolution images taken in poor lighting. 
The new airframe is, of course, unlikely to be fully representative of what a final production variant may look like. Previous aircraft like the J-20 also evolved significantly from its original prototype before entering serial production. Overall, these major changes a year after we first saw the design, point to an aircraft still very much in the stages of flight test demonstration development and possibly to an accelerated iterative design scheme used to rush the aircraft into a production-like state. This new aircraft could also be an alternative configuration, not an evolutionary one, but that seems less likely at this time. As we have repeatedly stated, the progress China is making when it comes to advanced combat aircraft is absolutely stunning. And yes, these aircraft are far more than their outward appearance and would need to rely on superior sensor and communications technology, low observable material science, total force integration, and of course, operator and integrated training, in order to win the day. But taken at face value, China's rapid progress with so many diverse platforms in such a short time is remarkable. That being said, there are some that declare everything they see is late in development and near ready for production, regardless of the evidence. This is usually framed against an inflammatory US-China competition narrative. Seeing this new iteration of the J-36 should underline just how fast China is working to refine the design and it's likely this was well in the works when the first example took flight. Still, claims that the J-36 was very far along in its development and even production representative when it first flew should now be put to rest.